absolutely, there is life elsewhere, and almost certainly intelligent life. It has to be, the odds are just overwhelming. A recent revelation has sparked intrigue and wonder among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Renowned science communicator Bill Nye caused a stir when he revealed that Voyager 1 had detected 300 massive objects in space. Join us on this cosmic journey Bill Nye. Voyager 1 has just detected 300 massive objects in space. This revelation has not only piqued our collective imagination, but also sparked profound questions. So, what are these objects and where do they come from? Come along as we unravel the mysteries hinted at by Voyager 1's astonishing revelation. For nearly 50 years the Voyager missions have given us some of the earliest and most remarkable views of our solar system's wonders. Surprisingly these missions were not built to last so long. In the 1970s Michael Minovich had a breakthrough idea. Spacecraft could use a planet's velocity to propel itself further into the solar system. Initially planned to last only five years, the Voyager mission has far surpassed these expectations. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 launched just weeks apart in the summer of 1977 were first set to explore Jupiter and Saturn. They achieved this mission by successfully studying these gas giants, but they didn't stop there. Voyager 2 went on to make the first ever close-up observations of Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These flybys of four planets earned the mission the name Voyager Grand Tour. Instead of ending their mission, the resilient Voyager spacecraft set their sights on an even more ambitious goal, exploring deep space. Now, 46 years later, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still traveling, gathering essential scientific data from the far reaches of the cosmos. In a groundbreaking announcement in 2013, NASA revealed that Voyager 1 had officially entered interstellar space. Interstellar space is the region between stars, beyond the influence of the sun's particles and magnetic fields. It's like moving from a busy solar system into a peaceful, star-filled wilderness. The Voyager story continued in 2018, when Voyager 2 also entered this vast region, 17.7 billion kilometers away from the Sun. Remarkably, Voyagers 1 and 2 are the only spacecraft to have ventured into interstellar space. These pioneering spacecraft have been studying how the interstellar medium interacts with the solar wind from our Sun. NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft have been our primary source of information regarding the heliosphere, a protective shield enveloping our solar system. The heliosphere is shaped and adjusted by the solar wind, a continuous stream of charged particles emitted by the sun. Voyager 1 and 2 have acted as our cosmic reporters, sending back valuable insights about this celestial shield. Where does all this information converge? At the heliopause, the official boundary of our solar system, marking the transition from the solar wind to the vast expanse of interstellar space. NASA's Voyager spacecraft have provided valuable new knowledge about interstellar space. One significant finding is that cosmic rays, mysterious particles, are three times more intense beyond the heliopause compared to within the protected area of the heliosphere. This difference is like comparing the tranquility of a backyard to the bustling activity of a busy street. However, there's more to this cosmic drama. NASA's experts didn't stop with Voyager discoveries, they integrated data from subsequent missions with Voyager's observations, creating a comprehensive portrayal of our Sun and its complex interaction with the surrounding interstellar space. In a grand cosmic performance, NASA scientists made a surprising revelation last year. Voyager 1 captured a low humming sound that matched the vibrations detected in small amounts of gas floating in the vast emptiness of interstellar space. Nicola Fox, the leader of NASA's heliophysics division in Washington, D.C., stressed the importance of the Voyager missions. In her words, over the past 46 years, the Voyager missions have been crucial in providing us with this knowledge and have changed our understanding of the sun and its effects in ways that no other spacecraft can. Now that's quite an adventure in space. Voyagers 1 and 2 rely on a power system fueled by plutonium. However, as the plutonium ages, it produces less heat, causing the Voyagers to lose power. Facing this cosmic challenge, NASA had to make tough choices, shutting down non-essential systems, and even some initially deemed necessary. The heaters meant to keep instruments warm in the freezing expanse of space were turned off. But here's the surprise. Despite the odds, all five instruments have been functioning well since 2019, defying expectations. NASA experts are puzzled, wondering how the Voyagers are still operating in temperatures that would normally freeze other spacecraft. It's a mystery that deepens the remarkable legacy of these brave space pioneers, adding another layer of wonder to their enduring journey. 
the outer edges of our solar system are surprising astronomers with unexpected behavior. The heliopause, which acts as a boundary between our sun's influence and the space between stars, is not staying still. Instead, it's moving and creating strange angles, leaving scientists amazed and puzzled. This idea of the heliopause change in shape isn't entirely new. For the past 10 years, smart researchers using data from Voyager 1, Voyager 2 and NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer satellite have noticed the heliopause's tendency to change. These spacecraft are incredibly important, as they give us direct measurements of these cosmic borders, even though it's just at one specific spot in space and time. Dr. Eric J. Zarin, a space physicist at Princeton University, shared some exciting insights in an email to Vice. He mentioned how IEX, another satellite, is adding valuable data to help scientists make better predictions about the Heliopolis's future movements. Now, here's where it gets more interesting. Recent studies have challenged what we thought we knew. IEX noticed a strange brightening of energetic particles in 4, suggesting some irregularities in the heliopause. However, these irregularities didn't match our existing models, almost like a surprise twist in a story. Moreover, researchers saw significant changes in the Heliopolis's position in a short time after studying data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. This movement might explain why these two probes reached interstellar space in 2012 and 2018, respectively, with a big gap in between. These unexpected behaviors are not just confusing, they contradict what we thought we understood about the Heliopause. In a recent article in Unature Astronomy, scientists referred to these discrepancies as interesting, meaning they are puzzling and could cause some debate in the scientific community. But don't worry, the search for answers continues. Scientists are eager to learn more from NASA's upcoming interstellar mapping and acceleration probe, scheduled to launch in 2025. This advanced satellite promises to reveal more secrets about the outer reaches of our solar system. Until then, we can only wonder about the mysteries waiting for us beyond the heliopause. In May 2023, Voyager 1 experienced an unusual event during its regular operations. The part of the spacecraft responsible for controlling its high-gain antenna, known as the Attitude Articulation and Control System SS, started sending back confusing data. Instead of the usual updates on the spacecraft's health and status, it seemed like Voyager 1 was having trouble communicating effectively, similar to how someone might struggle to speak fluently due to a condition like electronic aphasia. From our perspective here on Earth, it appeared that Voyager 1 was experiencing electronic confusion. The data it sent back seemed random or lacked coherence, as NASA explained at the time. Interestingly, despite these strange reports, Voyager 1 appeared to be functioning perfectly fine. Its radio signal remained strong and stable, indicating that the antenna was still pointing toward Earth, contrary to what the AACS was indicating. Adding to the intrigue, Voyager 1's scientific instruments continued their operations without any issues, unaware of the anomaly in the AICS. Furthermore, the spacecraft's fault protection system, designed to respond to glitches by putting the spacecraft in safe mode, was not triggered by this event. Fortunately, NASA quickly identified the problem. It turned out that the AICS was using a computer that had been inactive for a long time. The solution was simple, a command to switch to the working computer for data transmission. However, the mystery remained about what caused the ACS to act strangely in the first place. NASA suspected that an incorrect command from another onboard computer might have triggered it. While this incident didn't pose a significant risk to Voyager 1's safety, NASA is actively investigating to prevent similar occurrences in the future. Voyager 1 has been exploring interstellar space for over a decade, outside the protective magnetic field of the Sun. This magnetic shield, similar to Earth's magnetic field, shields the spacecraft from cosmic rays and other space radiation, acting like a cosmic suit of armor. When it comes to technology, just as Earth's computers can face challenges from high-energy particles and solar radiation, Voyager 1's onboard computers also encounter cosmic hurdles. Sometimes, energetic particles can interact with computer chips, leading to small memory errors that build up over time. Susan Dodd, the project manager overseeing both Voyager 1 and 2, provides a cosmic perspective on these challenges. She mentions that encountering such mysteries is part of the norm at this stage of the Voyager mission. These spacecraft have been on an incredible journey for nearly five decades, far exceeding their expected mission duration. It's worth noting that they are navigating through interstellar space, an environment filled with high levels of radiation, a territory no spacecraft has ever explored before. Nearly 50 years have passed since Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 set off on their remarkable journey. 
they've traveled across vast distances, delving into unknown realms and uncovering groundbreaking knowledge. These iconic spacecraft, now venturing into interstellar space, face a unique challenge. Their computer systems from the 1970s era operate with just 70 kilobytes of memory. Yes, that's right, a mere 70 kilobytes. Despite these technological limitations, NASA has successfully maintained the functionality of these distant explorers. Just imagine the possibilities when future space probes equipped with far more advanced technology venture into this unexplored cosmic frontier, seeking to reveal the hidden mysteries of the universe. With a grand 20-year timeline ahead, these future missions promise to unveil secrets we've never known before here's the grammatically corrected and paragraphed version of the text you provided. Became known as the Pale Blue Dot, as coined by Sean himself in his book of the same name, Sean was inspired by the breathtaking Earthrise pictures from the Apollo program, especially the one taken by Apollo 17 from the moon's surface. His goal was to offer a new perspective, showing Earth from a distance 100,000 times farther away, believing that such an image could help us understand our place and situation in the grand scheme of things. While ancient philosophers viewed Earth as a tiny speck in the vast universe, this perspective had never been visually experienced until that moment. Fast forward to August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 made history by crossing into the interstellar medium at a mind-boggling distance of 11 billion miles from the Sun. Remarkably, it continues to send valuable data back to us. Its counterpart, Voyager 2, joined the interstellar journey in 2018. These pioneering spacecraft are now so distant that it takes about 22.5 hours for a radio signal traveling at the speed of light to reach Voyager 1 from Earth, while Voyager 2 requires nearly 19 hours. Each day, these brave probes move another 3 to 4 light seconds away from us. NASA's Deep Space Network, consisting of three tracking complexes located strategically around the world, serves as their lifeline, ensuring continuous communication even as Earth rotates. As our spacecraft venture further into space and time, their signals become faint whispers. The Earth's bustling noise from radios, TVs, cell phones, and other sources makes it quite difficult to pick up these faint signals. Despite their faintness, these whispers align with astronomers' expectations as the Voyagers move into the interstellar part of their mission. This mission, a massive scientific endeavor spanning around 10,000 work years, is widely regarded as one of our species' most significant explorations. Interestingly, it almost didn't happen. The Voyager mission was a stroke of luck in celestial mechanics. Initially, Michael Minovich discovered that a spacecraft could gain speed from a planet to move away from the sun. Building on this, Gary Flandro demonstrated that probes launched during the late 70s and 80s could utilize a special alignment of outer planets, using gravitational assist to travel faster. This revelation made Neptune, situated at the solar system's edge, reachable in just a dozen years instead of the anticipated 30. NASA seized this opportunity, although budget constraints led to scaling back the grand tour of the outer solar system. Consequently, instead of extensive exploration, they opted for a more affordable visit to Jupiter and Saturn, still amounting to a quarter-billion-dollar journey. Researchers were hopeful for a detour to Uranus and Neptune, banking on Voyager 1's success at Jupiter and Saturn to adjust Voyager 2's trajectory for these planets. Let's delve into the equipment. The twin Voyagers were equipped with advanced instruments like cameras, infrared and ultraviolet spectrometers, sensors for mapping cosmic particles like charged particles and cosmic rays, along with a photopolarimeter and a magnetometer. Powered by nuclear energy, these spacecraft were initially expected to operate for about five years. However, they exceeded expectations, extending their lifespan tenfold. Over time, the Voyager mission has transformed into a legendary expedition to the outer planets and beyond. It's not just a scientific endeavor, but a symbolic journey blending myth and science. The mesmerizing images of distant worlds, captured by these spacecraft, turned the mission into a historic quest into the unknown. And then there's the golden record, a standout feature. Each Voyager carried a phonograph record filled with images, music, and sounds representing Earth, including greetings in 55 languages. It served as a cosmic message to any intelligent beings in the Milky Way, a hopeful communication across vast distances. The thought of extraterrestrial civilizations encountering these messages stirs excitement, offering us a glimpse of galactic recognition and potential immortality. The Voyager mission symbolizes our profound curiosity about the cosmos, resonating with participants and observers alike, and reflecting our collective desire to understand our cosmic significance. 
For more than 10 years, the diligent work of these twin spacecraft has allowed humanity to explore the mysteries of space between stars. The probes sent by NASA have not only given us valuable knowledge about our solar system, but also uncovered the unusual and surprising aspects of space beyond our sun. Let's break it down. Despite appearing calm as a glowing ball of light, our sun is a dynamic nuclear furnace zooming through the galaxy at an incredible speed of 450,000 mph. The sun is surrounded by twisted, tangled magnetic fields as it moves around the center of our galaxy. Constantly, the sun releases a flow of electrically charged particles called the solar wind. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The solar wind doesn't just vanish into space, it clashes with the interstellar medium, which is a mix of remnants from old star explosions floating between stars. Think of it like oil and water colliding, they don't blend perfectly. The solar wind creates a protective bubble within the interstellar medium called the heliosphere. Thanks to data from the Voyager spacecraft, we now understand that this heliospheric bubble stretches a massive 11 billion miles from the sun at its leading edge. It wraps around the sun all eight planets and many objects orbiting far from our star. This heliosphere isn't just there for decoration, it acts as a shield, safeguarding everything inside, including our fragile DNA, from most of the galaxy's intense radiation. Picture it as a protective shield ensuring the safety of our solar system amidst the vastness of space between stars. To solve these cosmic mysteries, we need to fully grasp the heliosphere. That's why NASA is like cosmic tech support ensuring these distant explorers stay operational by sending software updates across immense distances. It's a bit like performing surgery on a patient located an astonishing 15 billion miles away. Not your typical task for a Monday morning? Updating Voyager software isn't a simple task. It involves sending new instructions directly to the spacecraft's computers, which are programmed to understand the most basic form of programming known as machine language. This means, the instructions must be written in a language that the hardware can understand without the help of an operating system or advanced programming tools. To handle this challenge, NASA engineers use a combination of creativity and resourcefulness. They use assembly language, a programming language similar to machine code, to create the update instructions. This approach gives them direct control over the hardware, ensuring that the code runs as efficiently as possible. They also use pseudocode a simplified set of commands that automate repetitive tasks without using too much memory. These software updates are not just about fixing bugs, they are crucial for the survival of our brave spacecraft. Over the years, these updates have solved various problems, from fixing malfunctioning parts to addressing issues with memory. For example, a software update once saved Voyager 1 from a potential disaster when a hardware component stopped working. The update activated a fail-safe mechanism, giving the spacecraft the boost it needed to continue its mission in space. The Voyager missions were not just routine journeys, they were the starting point for numerous interstellar adventures. These missions not only made groundbreaking discoveries, but also inspired further exploration into the unknown realms of space. When the Voyager spacecraft took a closer look at Jupiter, it unveiled the planet's intricate nature. This discovery sparked great enthusiasm at NASA, leading to the launch of two significant missions, Galileo in 1989 and Juno in 2011. You can think of Voyager as the precursor to these major space missions. But that's not all. Voyager's exploration inspired the renowned Cassini mission to Saturn. Jonathan Lunine, a prominent planetary scientist at Cornell University, credits Voyager 1's detailed flyby of Titan, one of Saturn's moons, as the driving force behind Cassini's remarkable mission. Cassini even deployed a probe named Hygens onto Titan's surface in 2005, capturing stunning video footage. Voyager 2 also made significant contributions. It initiated studies into the icy giant planets, not only within our solar system, but also in distant star systems. Consider this, many of the exoplanets we've discovered so far share similarities with Neptune and Uranus in size, and Voyager 2 played a role in this cosmic exploration. Now, fast forward to the present day. NASA continues to build upon the legacy of Voyager. The Dragonfly mission is scheduled to land on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, in 2034. The Europa Clipper mission is preparing to investigate Jupiter's moon Europa, first observed by Voyager, starting in 2030. Additionally, the National Academy's Planetary Science Survey proposed a $4.02 billion mission to Uranus, with an orbiter and probe in the 2040s. This mission represents a significant encounter with the enigmatic ice giant and its moons all tracing back to Voyager 2's brief encounter 
with the Uranus system in January 1986. Nearly five decades have passed since Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 began their incredible journey through space, but their impact is still felt today. These spacecraft set off a chain of curiosity and discovery that continues to unfold. Here's the latest update, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still communicating with NASA's Deep Space Network. This network, initially meant for communicating with Voyager 2 during its missions at Uranus and Neptune, is still receiving instructions and sending back data to Earth. This enduring connection is quite remarkable. Ed Stone, the lead scientist for the Voyager 1 and 2 missions, shared these updates during a recent news conference. He mentioned that we are still collecting valuable data from the Voyager spacecraft, and the plan is to continue this interstellar exploration for another four to six years. However, by the mid to late 2020s, the scientific instruments on these spacecraft will be turned off, and they will become silent and inactive. Nevertheless, their journey into the vast unknown of space will continue indefinitely. Stone, who is in his 80s, humorously remarked that he hopes to outlast the Voyager mission. He also noted that these spacecraft have entered a part of space where no probe has ever ventured before. If extraterrestrial beings ever come across Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, it might be billions of years from now. Imagine, a billion years from now, Voyager could still be out there, offering its unique message to any advanced civilization willing to listen. The Voyager missions symbolize an incredible human achievement. As long as we remain connected to the far reaches of space, there is hope for humanity's future. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.